you had ATC on your last one? Yes, yes you did. did yeah. Yeah. So you're happy about what the, the lights indicate? Yep. Green and red and do red flashing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you're happy with that, yeah? I don't need to know that, do I? No, no, no. Okay. Well, you could listen and, and be told, though. Well, this is it, but you're okay. not going to tell you anything. Well, if you want me to tell you, I'll tell you. If not. Tell right. me, please. Right, so when you connect your electrics, right. which is off, on the, obviously off your vehicle, the system will do a self test. Normally, you will get a okay, green okay. solid light or a green flashing light. Right. Okay, green solid light state, it's done its full test. Right. Okay? If it's green flashing, it hasn't quite finished its test. Normally, within about 100 yards, it will set to solid green. Okay. okay so then it's completed its test. If it goes to solid red, that means there's, there's a, some kind of fault. Okay? So, normally, if you just unplug your electrics, and put it, put it back in, it will reset. Okay. If not, um, you can still drive with the with that red light on. The system, it just be the system won't be won't working. Be working. Okay? No. If it's flashing red light, that means again there's a fault. You can try and reset it by pulling the electric out and putting it back, back in again. In. Okay. The thing with that one is it may have applied the brakes. So if you're aware of what the system does, it, all it does is apply the brakes to stabilize the vehicle right. if it starts getting out, out, of, yeah. out of sync as such. Yeah. So as it as it says, if, if it's applied the brakes, you're not going to be able to move it, okay? And the only only way of, uh, obviously, someone coming in, a technician coming in and either reset the unit or whatever, is that there's a bar that actuates the brakes. So the only way you can be able to move is by removing that bar off the unit to the brakes. Yeah, I've got to understand. Yeah, so yeah. that's the only way you can move the van, obviously, if the brakes have been applied. So when we connect that to start with, then that, that, if that light's flashing green, yeah. are you saying, would you actually need to drive yeah. And then retest it, like pull over. I, and I always check redid it. that too. Usually plugged it in within yeah. I don't know, yeah, ten it, seconds. Yeah, but it, it tends to yeah after. But you've got to drive. Yeah, so you yeah. have to drive and then pull over. Do we yeah. just check well, it? Should, it should it should set. Right. It should set. If it started flashing green, it should set to solid green after that that period of time. Right. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Gas locker. Okay, we've got an onboard regulator, which I expect you would have had on the other one. Okay, you can use propane or butane off that. All you need is we're on propane. You're on propane. So that, that's the, the gas leaf for propane. Oh, Alright. Okay, this obviously is mine connected at the moment. So if you wanted to use bro uh, propane, <laughs> butane, I was here this morning. If you wanted to use butane, you'd have to have a different uh, pigtail or gas yeah. lead. Okay, there is an on off valve there, but don't rely on that. That's mainly just for testing when they do the pressure test. You can switch it off via that if you're changing the sealers over just to keep the, the pressure up there. But the main one is to turn it off on your cylinder. Yeah, I usually do both. Yeah. yeah, oh yeah, yeah. 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 Switch it on yeah. off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I usually switch both off to be yeah. fair. Right. But you don't, you don't need to, but the main one is switching it off on, the, on top on of your the gas, cylinder. gas cylinder. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. Alright, we'll go around the downside now.